bless these that sing, and uh, thank you for them. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you so amen. much. You can be seated. Every day they pass me by. I can see it in their eyes. Empty people filled with care. Headed who knows where. On they go through private lanes. Living fear to fear. Laughter highs, their silent cries. Only Jesus hears. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. At the end of broken dreams, he's the open door. People need the Lord. Let's everybody stand. People need the Lord. That is so true. Tomorrow night, soul winning night, and you pray that God would lead us.
wonderful blessing. The, that dumpster will go right in, in that fence uh, there. They'll, they'll set it in there, and of course, after they put some gravel or cement or whatever. But it's getting done. Amen. Things are getting done. When all these windows taken out, we want brand new windows in. And um, the pavement, I was, you know, I'm just hoping, you know, last week there's a company there we were talking about, no, no, we, we just we just want to make sure it's done right. We want to make sure we'll, it's worth waiting on. Amen. And get, getting different estimates and di different estimates. And we want it to look nice. Amen for God. Amen. And the Nehemiah Project, and I thank God so much for you, um, you know, doing what you can. But, as, you know, we would do it because we love the Lord. Isn't that right? We love God. Thank God we have precious visitors could come and a beautiful auditorium. Thank God for all the decorations, all that's put into it, you know. And um, just thank God we have a place. They're traveling through. It's not, it's not just here in Knoxville. We have people that travel through, and they come by. We want to be a blessing to them. Amen. Thank God they can come into a place where the air conditioning units are working. Amen. And it's not hot as Hades. <laughs> Isn't that right? So, but it takes the tithes and offerings of God's people. Amen. Thank God the utilities are on. Thank God, thank God I didn't have to get up and say, hey, things are so tight we can't run the air tonight. We got to shut it down. <laughs> we got to endure hardness. We will when we have to, but thank God it's not now. Somebody say amen. Isn't that right? But thank God for your giving. We appreciate God's people. Let's everybody stand, please. Let's remember soul winning tomorrow night. Let's remember Saturday morning prayer time. Amen. Amen. Going to God in prayer. Ain't that right? Amen. And talking to God and praying to God and our prayer meetings uh, Saturday morning and our bus visitation time, going out and inviting people on the bus. Next Wednesday, pray for the Fort Worth Baptist Temple, Pastor Smith. He wants to fly me out there on a Wednesday, and um, I'll come back on um, Thursday night, Texas. Yes, and so pray for that meeting, and pray for Brother Burley next Wednesday, and be here before you know it. And he'll be here preaching for me, and uh, does a wonderful job. And thank God so much for him. Yes, and But you pray the Spirit of God come upon him, and God use you in a great way. But I want you to pray for your pastor, and the Lord is definitely open so many doors up to share share the things that's on my heart to help others. And thank God you're not selfish that you share me with others Amen. to be a blessing to others. Amen. And um, and so and thank God um, we just had our Reaching All Races Everywhere conference and people are knowing about it and they're hearing about it. And thank God they, they want to be a part. Yes. They want to be a part. Amen. Amen. Friend, they want to do something. about. Uh, they they want to love Jesus and Make a difference. Amen. 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 And they see what the socialists and communists are trying to do to destroy our country with this race problem, mm -hmm. you know. But you know the dream and the vision that God's put upon my heart. Amen. The greatest need in the black community is independent, fundamental Baptist churches. Amen. 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 Our dear friends visiting tonight, from the, you know, this is the need. They know in the, in the white community, in the black community, whatever community it is, Independent fundamental Baptist churches. Amen. Amen. This is what's needed Amen. around the country. Amen. And thank God Pastor Smith in Fort Worth, yes, Texas, wants to see it done. Amen. You know, got so many black people living all around that area. And, and he, being a white preacher, wants to reach them. Amen. Amen. And, um, and, and he wants me to come on in. And, yes, and I want to encourage his people. Amen. And I want to encourage that preacher. Amen. And uh, But thank you for praying for me. So many different churches you know I've been preaching and, and uh, God is, only God can open these doors, friend. Yes. Um, God has definitely been good to us. But pray that the Lord would help and uh, Satan will not hinder on the, on the um, news. And I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I'm going to want God to let it happen, okay? And, uh, but some of them were stranded since Sunday. I hope they got them home. Wow. And the, 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 the plane flights, and um, they've been in the airport. They were in the airport Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Well, I hope they're not there still today. Some of them had kids. And um, they canceled the flights. They had to cancel it. Cancel it. Put it off. And, um, and so pray that don't happen next week. I don't want that to happen next week. And when I, I get on that plane, 
I want to get on a plane Wednesday morning, and I want to be there. Amen. I want to be there in a couple hours amen. in Texas. Amen. Amen. Hey, somebody say amen. amen. Isn't that right? And when I get to Texas, when I want to come out of there, I don't want to. I don't want to be there. I don't want to get. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to get there on a Thursday and be hanging around on a Saturday. <laughs> Come on, Brad. But but you're praying people. And it happened to be, I believe, Spirit and American Airlines. And I happened to be scheduled on American. Oh, oh, it's a Spirit Omo. Not Spirit. But Spirit Airlines. But it's American, Brad. Oh, they were grumbling this week. Amen. Hopefully, hopefully they got it corrected by next week. You know, right? Uh, but you're praying people. Isn't that right, Brad? God bless you. I appreciate you. All right, Brother Bruce, come and pray over the offering. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go to the Lord at this time and pray over the offering. That's the Lord blessed to give it at this time. Father, we come before you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for this great opportunity we have to give to the work of the Lord. And God, we pray you bless it tonight, Lord, and provide every need, dear Lord. Thank you for the great things that you're doing around here. Father, with the Nehemiah Project, dear Lord, I pray you help it, help it continue on. Help us, Lord, to see great things. Thank you for the things you already, you already done, Lord, and the things you're going to do in the future. We give you praise and glory for it all. Bless the offering. We pray in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. You may be seated. you so much okay and pray if you will let's 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 bow our heads and pray for you if you need to go by the table there and use your card and swipe your card and give that way people um give that way and so you, you feel welcome to do that uh, and uh, grace bible baptist church uh, also uh, there on the website you can donate that way you can do by text giving and so there's different ways you can do it but some of you if you need to go by the table right there uh, brother tim will be there and swipe your debit card that way if you need to Okay, let's bow our heads and pray if we will. Uh, thank you so much. And I want you to pray and uh, pray for joy and have her minister to us at this time, okay? And pray the Spirit of God will use her and help her. And um, you pray, shall we? Okay. Father, we thank you so much for your goodness and we give you the glory and honor and praise, uh, dear Lord, that we can come to church in the middle of the week and, and we can encourage each other. And, Thank you so much for the most important part, the Word of God, and you can speak to us. So prepare our hearts and uh, pray that you bless the uh, special and uh, pray that you would, um, God, help us to draw closer to you in Jesus' name and do more for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Decisions must be made, and now I have a choice. I need your wisdom, Lord. I need to hear your voice. I'm facing challenges. And the walls are closing in. I'm crying out to you, my one true faithful friend. Hear my prayer, oh Lord, I need you in my life. I cry to you, oh Lord, please lead me to the light, 
Show me the way, O oh Lord, and cleanse me from my sin. Jesus, I need you. I need you once again. Jesus, I need you. I need you once again. I know you are the one that guides me day by day. The answer's found in you. You're the truth, the life, the way. When others seem to fail and troubles all around, Lord, you're always standing there. You're the one true hope I found. Hear my prayer, oh Lord, I need. to you, oh Lord, please lead me to the light, show me the way, oh Lord, and cleanse me from my sin, Jesus, I need you, I need you once again, Jesus, I need you, I need you once again. God bless you, God bless you, thank you so much, appreciate you. Nehemiah chapter 7, what a blessing it is to get into this chapter here, 7 and share some things with you with this chapter. It sure has helped us with our Nehemiah project. And um, in verse 1, now it came to pass when the wall was built and I set up the doors. I, just, I was thinking about when these doors were set up here, those beautiful doors. And I want us to be thankful. You know, we, we just don't thank God enough. And let's be more thankful. Thank God for these new doors and and um, give God the praise for them. And, and uh doors are symbolic of we just don't want anybody just coming in here hanging out hey this is god's place <laughs> we want to we want friend, friend we want to keep keep the keep keep, keep the enemy out somebody say amen. friend it's symbolic this is god's house friend a amen and uh and so um you know but they you know i just thank god they built the wall and thank god so much they they, they just took care of the house of god and and show the Lord that they just love him. That's why we're doing this. That's why we're doing this. And when you see these things done, you know, praise him for it. And God helped us to get all these other things. He's going to help us with all this pavement. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're just waiting on God. And uh, we're going to get it with God's help. It's going to look beautiful. These windows are going to be taken out. And they're going to get new, one, new ones put in there. It's just going to take time. But we're confident. God helped us with these other things. He's going to help us with this. But I thank God for your prayers, though. we got to pray. Isn't that right? So and now it came, it came to pass. And, and underline it, it came to pass. It, we'll look back at it. And then after we do this, there'll be another project. There'll be something else. Amen. There'll be something else. You, you never know. Break down the walls and build it bigger or whatever. Or, or buy some property around us. But there'll always be something to do. A gymnasium or something. Well, your boys would like that to play basketball. Amen. Play basketball or something. Amen. Get them to come and preach to them about Jesus. Preach to them about God. Amen. Get them saved. Amen. You never know what God may do. Amen. I'm just, I'm just saying there's a lot we can do for the Lord. But the main reason why we do it, we want to glorify him. Isn't that right? We want to glorify him. Isn't that right? And so give God the praise. Give God the praise. You're thinking about all the people they feed down there. That brand new stove, all the thousands of people that we fed 
thousands of people. Thank God for them down there. And you labor down there, Sister Ruth and Sister Barnett, feeding the needy and feeding people that are hungry and uh, reaching out to the homeless. You know, God blesses stuff like that. God's people raise the money for the brand new stove. Isn't that wonderful? And so, so, so to God be the praise. God be the glory of it. Isn't that right? And so um, we see that um, it came to pass. It came to pass. Um, when we needed a, a, the heating system went, went down. Thank God we got a new heating system years, years ago. God provided for us. We needed a roof. Thank God. <laughs> Hallelujah. We got a brand new roof. You know, you just think of all this. If you just knew the mess and the stink and the scum, I looked up there from my office up there, which was not my office when I cursed, when I first came, when God put it upon my heart, and thank God God's people follow. Thank God for God's people. God gave me a vision. And I looked at the scum. I looked at the stink. You should see no raggedy stinking house that was out there. It rat infested, no doubt. Scum level. Knocked down. Look at the pavement out there. And now we're going to get more pavement. Years ago. Have you seen the scum? Looked at this place. You know, and um, the Nazarenes owned it. And they were rent it out to another Baptist church. And we, we rented it to own it. And thank God we purchased it. But I'm telling you, friend, it was messed up. It was filth. It was stank. Downstairs, thank God we got a drop ceiling downstairs, and we'll get a, we'll get a drop ceiling here. And all the remodeling that we had to do downstairs, and then the kitchen work, you should have seen the mess. But God blessed us. God blessed us. I'll never forget, some of you leave here, you say, man, we feel like we're hot, hot as Hades. It was the middle of summer. We, we had old air-conditioned units, sticking things and raggedy, rusted out, sticking, falling halfway out the window. You know them old, you know them, you know them old air-conditioned units? God's people, once again, rally together. We got our central heat and air. Air-conditioned units. We, we, we need to thank God for what God's helped us with. We had no vans and our vans out here. We had no vans. God gave us. Had, we didn't have our buses. Let's give God the praise and glory for it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Them buses. God provided. Sound system. All that we can do now on social media. We didn't have these things. The piano. I'll never forget we need a piano. That beautiful piano. God has been so good to us. The carpet. The padded pews. We could go on and on and on. Nehemiah was so pleased. He was so blessed to have people to help him. And I want to thank God for every one of you that helped. Every one of you that worked. And the porters and the singers and the Levites were appointed. I want to thank God so much for our servants, for the ushers, those that work in the sound room, nursery workers. Give God the praise for those that cut the grass. God bless you. You know, some of you hang around at night and you straighten up the auditorium and you, and you clean up and downstairs and you know, taking out the trash or whatever. Well, so much teamwork, the bus workers, the van workers, the drivers. We owe, we owe God, we, we owe it to him, praise him tonight. They rally together. I cannot thank you singers enough. I cannot thank you singers enough. And I want to say thank you. And I want you to know you're a blessing to your preacher. And I, know what you, I want you to know you're a blessing to this church. And I'll tell you what, I know it takes time and you, you practice and you take time. And choir, I'll tell you, I just love to hear you say. I look forward to it. I, I just thank God. I thank God for our singers that want to sing about Jesus and sing about God. And it's don't got to be something wicked. We don't got to borrow from the devil. And we don't got to 
carry the devil's tomb and borrow from the devil. Hey, are you listening? I thank God for the singers. Singing is all through the Bible. Even before the battles, the singers would sing. You read Ephesians about spiritual songs and hymns and Colossians and the importance of God's people singing. I love the congregational music. I praise God for the congregation. I thank God for our, 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 our choir director. Thank God for Brother Bird. Thank God for the time that you spend on, on, on Sunday night and you take your time. And I know you get tired. And I know you choir, you get weary, you get tired. But you come back on Sunday night and you practice. And I thank God. And you get up, you young people and old people. I thank God for you soulless. I thank God for you. Thank God for your, your groups. And I'm telling you with God's help, with God's grace, it, we are going on to perfection. God is stirring up my heart. He's stirring up my heart, friend. And I thank God he gives me the vision. And I thank God for God's people that get behind the man of God. I don't think anybody complained during this Nehemiah project. I don't think I heard one complaint. Do you know how much the devil destroys churches? People with bad spirits, people that don't care, that don't get behind the man of God and fight the man of God. I just thank God for God's people. Just rally one, roll their sleeves up. What's next, preacher? What's next? <laughs> and the singers. And the Levites were appointed. God orchestrated it all, friend. Thank God for what Nehemiah did. Thank God for what the pastor does. But it's God that orchestrates it. He gives the vision to the man of God. And he stirs up God's people. Every one of you important. First Corinthians in chapter 12, if you will. The decorations. I could go on and on and on. Stamping the tracks. I can go on and on and on. <laughs> I can just keep going on and on the things that needs to be done that gets done around here. First Corinthians chapter 12. And that nursery, thank God, you don't let them all out on us and, and we be overthrown, overthrown by all those in the nursery. God bless you. Thank God you don't let them all loose. Bring them up here, just let them loose and let them run around. God bless you. We love them. But oh, I just thank God for you. Amen. Thank God for helping mama. Ain't that right? Yeah. Thank God for helping mama. You know, say, can't say thank you enough. Our children's church preachers go down and preach to the children. Share the word of God with the children. God bless you. So excited what God is doing. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Verse 5, and there are differences of administration but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it's the same God which worketh, worketh all in all. God is working it all out. Verse 7, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to what? Profit with them. The manifestation of the Spirit. Holy Spirit of God is given to every man. Every child of God, every church member has the Holy Spirit working. For one is given by the Spirit, the word of what? Wisdom to another, the word of knowledge, but the same Spirit. See that there? Another faith by the same Spirit to another gifts of healing by the same Spirit to another working miracles. And by the way, God did this. By the way, God still works miracles. It's just these fake, these fake healers, these, these people, uh, um, and they're going to stand before God deceiving God's people, and they're a bunch of fakers. You know that. But God still works miracles. Amen. Amen. And um, and uh, but uh, he still heals. But uh, to another a miracle, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another uh, diverse kinds of tongues. And God did it. He did it. And and he gave him the ability to speak in another language. And God can do it today if he wanted to help you to speak in Chinese and Japanese if he, if he want if he wanted to. He did it for the purpose of the sign to the Jew, to the um, unbelieving Jew, and to convince them. And uh, Isaiah, it was fulfilled. God did it. God did it. And it's accomplished. 
it was it was it was for a purpose back then. And today, this jibber jabber, this stinking um, junk, uh, the devil's causing confusion in the church. The, God's not the author of confusion. Read First Corinthians fourteen. Somebody say Amen. There. To another, the interpretation of the tongues. I wonder why they ain't got that interpretation. Those ones that claim to have the tongues the way they did it in the Bible. Come on, somebody say Amen. But all things worketh that one and the self same same spirit, dividing to every man several as, say it, as he will. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. Jesus is the head. We're the body. Some may be a finger. Some may be a toe, some may be a leg, some may be a heart, some may be a lung, some, some, some may be, be a brain. What, every, part, every part is important. Every part is important. And Nehemiah had workers. And each person was doing their part. And don't you ever think that you're not important. Every one of you. Hey, hey are you listening? Every one of you are important. Every last one of you are important. And I want you to know that he's the head and the church is the body and the way we treat the body, we're treating Christ that way. He's the head. The way we're treating the church is Jesus. This Nehemiah project is all about Jesus. The work that we're accomplishing is all about Jesus. Jesus. So when you come up to the house of God, realize the most important business we can get done during the week is what we do for Jesus. Tomorrow night, Lord will, we'll go on soul winning, knocking on doors, telling folks about Jesus, getting people saved, taking care of Jesus. He's been so good to us, friend. He's been so wonderful. I want to do more for the Lord, don't you? Don't you? I want you to be praying about this Nehemiah project. We got a ways to go, friend, but we come a long ways. God's going to bring the money in. It's all God's anyway. God's going to give us labors. God's going to give us the funds. God's going to help us to do more for him. More and more for Jesus. Amen. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, if we will. Heads about, eyes are closed. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Let's go to God in prayer, if we will. Heads about, eyes are closed. How many of you are 100% sure when you die, you're going to heaven? How many of you know you're going to heaven? Would you raise your hand if you know for sure you, when you die, you're going to heaven? How many of you are sure about it? Heaven bound. How many of you know you're going to heaven? How many of you are 100% sure? Thank you. You can put your hand down. You can put your hand down. How many would say, I need to be saved? Anybody like that? I need to be saved. I need to be saved. I need to be baptized. Anybody like that? Yeah. All right. It's Wednesday night. It's Wednesday night. And I thank God for Wednesday. I love praying with God's people. I love praying with him. There's so much we need to pray for. Some of you are going to pray in your seat there, but others, if you want to come to the altar, you can. And I want you to be praying. Of course, you're going to pray for our country. I want you to pray to God to be merciful to our country. I want you to pray that the Lord will send a revival. Our leadership needs prayer, friend. Friend, what a shame. The things that we hear, what's going on in our country. I love this country. Would you beg God to be merciful to us? Let's pray for our country. Let's pray for our loved ones. Pray for me. I pray for you. I want you to think of somebody that's not here tonight. Somebody that's not here. I want you to pray for them. I want you to pray for them. A loved one, 
a pastor, a church. Our visiting friends, we're praying for you tonight. We want God to bless you. May God bless you. May God use you. May God help you on your journey. May God give you safety as you travel. And we give God the praise and thanks for bringing you our way tonight. Thank God for bringing our visitors by tonight. I want you to pray to God to provide our needs. God help us to raise the money for the Nehemiah project. As we're getting estimates, pray to God to touch hearts. For the windows, I want you to pray that the Lord would touch hearts. Friend, I was talking to a contractor today. I said, friend, what is it? Is it COVID? Why is it hard to get people to work? He said, well, the government's giving so much money out. A lot of people just don't want to work. So pray that our country, that God will give wisdom to the leaders. They're using this thing to create so much fear in people. Uh, we, need, we need God's grace, friend. We need God's grace. I want you to pray for Pastor Smith of Fort Worth Baptist Temple next Wednesday evening. Plan to be preaching for him and his people. I want you to pray that God would use me. He wants to reach all different nationalities of people. And he's, a, he's an independent fundamental Baptist preacher, old-fashioned, fundamental soul-winning preacher. And uh, I want you to pray for him. I want you to pray for him. I want you to pray that the Lord would give me a safe flight. I want you to pray that God would help there be no delays. And I want you to pray Satan would not hinder me. I want your prayers for, for, for your pastor. And I want you to pray for him and his church and stir him up to do greater things for you, for the Lord. I want you to pray. I want you to pray for Brother Burley. The Spirit of God will be upon him next Wednesday. And God will bless you. God will bless you. God will bless you. Heads are bowed, eyes are closed. When you finish praying, you can return to your seat. Just no talking when you get to your seat, please. Just bow your head and close your eyes when you get to your seat. Just bow your head and close your eyes, if you will. I want you to pray for one of our missionaries, Brother Hall. Pray for him specifically. And I um, want you to pray to God to bless him. Deaf, <laughs> deaf ministry. And um, what a blessing he is. Pray for him, him and his wife. And um, God's doing great things. Amen. Pray for his building project and all. Can you imagine having a deaf ministry? People can't hear. <laughs> and uh, sign language. And you know he's deaf. But what a blessing he is. You pray for him. Pray for missionaries. Pray for missionaries. Pray to God to bless them. Use them for the glory and honor, for God's glory and honor. Would you stand, Brother Burley? He's going to pray with you. Your heads about, eyes are closed. He's going to pray with you. You can, you can remain seated. Brother Burley's going to stand. You can, you can, the rest of you can be seated. Brother Burley, you stand, if you will. Okay.
Go ahead and pray. Amen. Amen. Well, you listened well. Thank you so much for your prayers. And and uh, we sure want to greet our visitors. We're so delighted you're here tonight. And, and we thank you again for coming. God bless you. And I'm going to meet with our workers in about 10 minutes, okay? All the workers, okay? God bless you. Back in the auditorium, about 10 minutes here.